You've got this. Any last advice from Mithal? Tis a difficult battle you face, but you are among more allies than you know. You have purified the crossroads, uncovered ancient truths lost for ages, and earned the essence of Mithal. You are truly the champion of the Fade. Take this. Should your fight against Elganon grow desperate, invoke the memories of the Dreadwolf's rebels. For you, they will stand against tyranny one last time. news, everyone. Elganon's forces are gathering outside. They mean to prevent you from reaching their master. Our people will set up barricades, and we'll hold the enemy as long as we can. You need to start climbing. Let one of us help. I'm going up there. I owe Elganon for what he did. You go to face a god, Rook, but any aid you might spare would be welcomed. Tosh, you up for it? Yep. We'll be cheering for you, Rook. All my best.
And the folks fighting down below. They're doing their jobs. We need to focus on reaching the throne. Believe it when I see it. The throne room. Knowing Algernon, we'll find him there. Made it. Algernon's using the Magisters to control the Blight, just like he used me. They're directing all of it at Solus. He won't make it without our help. How do you know? I can still feel it. Hear it. The Blight.
Everybody ready? I'm with you, Trouble. Oh. You got us here, Rook. Now give me a target so we can finish this. you've left your mark. I didn't see any glory. All I saw was a tyrant, destroying everything he touches. You mistake discipline for cruelty, a failing among those who lack a master's gentle guidance. We only destroyed because you resisted. In the new empire, every child would have blossomed under my protection. And Gilanane, my brilliant sister, would have forged the Blight into a tool of beauty. But she is dead. And all we have is this. Because of you. Oh, 
Then we killed Gilanane. You have nothing. No army, no dragon, no thralls. I've got a team, and that's all I need. I have found the souls of dragons. I have slain titans and broken the will of gods. You haven't broken me. Enjoy it while it lasts. If you will not bow, you will burn. Your recalcitrance has doomed every pathetic creature in existence. I will see the last glimmer of defiance from this wretched world! done. The world owes you a debt, both for defeating Elganon and for bringing down the Veil. I am sorry for this final betrayal, but I will do what I can to minimize the damage. When you see the old world restored... <laughs> Please, Rook. I do not wish to fight against you. <sighs> the veil's not coming down on my watch. It 
It is over. You could never stand against me alone. If you would excuse me, the final enchantments require a delicate touch. A delicate touch? You kill Varric, stab me in the back. You're about to drown the world in demons. How are you any different from Elganon, trying to impose your will on all of us? Elganon would have seized his victory by force. You were not crushed by the power of the Dread Wolf. You were bested fairly, by wits alone. Fake. Here's the real one. And now the veil is once again tied to the life force of an elven god. Bested fairly by wits alone. <laughs> I taught you well. I didn't want it to come to this. If you'd been willing to listen. You think yourself capable of judging me? I have faced things you could not possibly comprehend! You are a mortal! A mortal! And I am! <laughs> I am a fool! Who finally met his match! With Elgernon and Gilanane dead, and the Dread Wolf finally outsmarted by a mere mortal, it looked like one of the biggest stories this world had ever seen was finally drawing to a close. The story of the Veil God, a team of heroes who stood strong against evil, no matter the cost. Whatever it takes. But whenever one story ends, another begins. Like the story of the Grey Wardens, clearing the remains of the Blight so that the flowers can grow again. Or the story of Archon Mavaris Talani, 
inspiring her people and bringing change to Tavinta. Or the story of a caretaker standing watch for new heroes. For the Antivan Crows, it would be a story of bringing a traitor to justice and reclaiming Treviso from the Blight. Among the Veil Jumpers, the fall of the last elven gods meant Arlathan was reborn. At their heart, stories are about change. A man exploring worlds beyond mortal existence. A woman making Darktown a little better for the people who live there. An assassin driving out the darkness in his city and himself. A student of history helping the elves put past evils behind them forever. A dragon hunter rediscovering their heritage from a place of strength. Or the Griffins finding a new home in Arlathan, protecting a world that once thought them lost for good. There are stories of love. But those stories aren't over. And we will always be grateful to those whose stories brought us where we are today. And those whose stories will live on with us forever. <laughs> <laughs>